Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR 21 in the ocean. Because this game makes me want to go out into the ocean and drown. We're on version 1.4.4 of this game. Why does it keep on changing? Why? What are they really fixing here? I've got my emotional support Pepsi for whatever the hell happens in this video. In this episode of our season as Daryl Bubba Wallace Jr. And his number 23 McDonald's Yoder. We're going to Michigan International Speedway for the Firekeepers Casino 400. And uh, I don't think the laps are here are very long. I saw it was going to be like a 50 lap race. So on these long road course races... In the last episode, we raced at the Indianapolis Road Course, and I was running okay, and then I got a, a corner-cutting penalty for just racing the track like a normal human being. We fell to fifth in the standings, finally. Truex passed us, and now he's tied with Kyle Larson for third. Th that could be me. It should be me. I would have finished better than both of those tards. But no, we're still fourth in the playoff standings, or whatever. I don't really care about that, but... Here's the settings for this race. 85 degrees. It's hot in Michigan for some reason today with clear skies, uh, same race length, the rules, the tire wear, the stages, which hopefully they work better here. I mean, the main problem was just we've come to the restart at the road courses and half the time, I guess depending on what lane I was in, we would, would pace around for a lap or two and it would take forever. That shouldn't be as bad, given what kind of horsepower package we have, though. We're going to be on champion difficulty. I just practiced on extreme difficulty, and they don't give my car um, enough aerodynamics and horsepower to even hang on to the rest of the field. So, that's out of the question. I'll run my test session with Joey Logano over there, but let's get into it. You know, whenever I start up the game... I um, went to, to check the career mode, the, the season, so I could see what we'd be doing next. I was like, okay, it's Michigan. But I had to simulate the Indianapolis road course race, even though I already ran it. This game does this thing where it forgets that you ran the race somehow. I don't know if it does it because you finished last or, or, or what. I don't. But I mean, I've seen What If have this problem, and I saw Fly Guy have this problem, and he just skipped like an entire race because of it, but no, really, you just gotta simulate it. It gives you the same results as when you did it. And then you go to the next race, like we are right here. Denny Hamlin's on the pole. Kyle Busch is starting second. We were having a great Joe Gibbs racing day. Where's Hendrick in all of this? We got Kyle Larson starting 12th. Huh. head track side where the drivers and teams are getting ready it's time for the command this is not an accurate representation of the car he used at this race he used a different mcdonald's car his had e z on the roof not 23 because his team did a great job of putting the stickers on. And they got away with it. I want a die cast of that car. Big old die cast. We're going to put it on loose. And it'll still be tight. I don't know why I even bother. But maybe, maybe subconsciously it helps. It boosts my confidence. And then we on to finishing like shit anyway. There's our, our bald guy, Krushi Seth. With his new headset and the microphone that looks like a freaking USB outlet. I wish I could show you what it looks like, but I don't have anything handy. We're going to start the race 39th. Look at us. We're 39th. Why? Okay, now we're 40th. Yeah, it's, it's a 50 lap race. And uh, this track doesn't even take but like 50 seconds to get around, I think. And then we have the, the stages. I know that the first one's 15 laps. And I want champion difficulty, not on extreme difficulty. So I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do aside from mash the throttle and steer left smoothly. Like I have for the past six fucking years on this channel. 
Maybe I'll catch up to them. Maybe their their tires will, will wear down. I don't know. But uh, the, the ball's in the game's court. I'm just going to drive the best I can. Uh, you know, I'm just going to go back and turn the difficulty down again. Because this is fucking stupid. We'll be on veteran difficulty. Fucking holy balls. So, does my car work now? Is my car good at doing that thing the that NASCAR cars do? Does it do that racing thing? Does it do that now? Because, I mean, goddamn, all you do is hold down the fucking throttle and steer left. Slightly. I can't adjust the setup. I can make it loose or, or make it tight. But... And I don't feel a change in that at all. What the fuck? What the fuck? And I can sit in the draft and... They're making some very terrible uh, corner entries over here, but that doesn't seem to affect what speed they run around this track. Okay, so now... My car is competent. A little. I mean, I'm sitting in the draft of this lane in front of me, and I'm, I'm still falling back. I'm depending on them checking up. Good God, I mean, I don't have no stupid uh, spreadsheet word document like the great What If Racing has that tells me uh, what difficulty I have to be on every race just for the game to be fair or playable. I'm sitting in last a lot of time because I can't get a run big enough to clear anyone on the outside. I mean, look at this shit. They have such terrible corner trees that I gain all this time in, but then I lose it because I can't go back up the track. Oh, this, this, this is 550 horsepower garbage nonsense shit. Again, I guess we're three wide right now. It's a full throttle track. I'm, I'm, I'm going full throttle. We gotta do the choo-choo train. I, I, there's nowhere to pass. When the, when there is somewhere to pass, I try to go there, and then it gets all clogged up, and that's basically turn three every time. Then they just smash the brakes over here now. Nothing else about how they drive this track will change aside from that turn right there. Because they seem to pull me everywhere else. But before I was, was lacking straightaway speed. I was lacking corner speed. And I mean, my car's not driving any different now. Now the AI are just driving slower. They have a weird way of making the AI drive slower. They just have them go slow in one turn and everywhere else they kind of unchanged. What's weird is that I was actually hanging on better on extreme difficulty whenever I was uh, getting ready for this video than I just was on champion. Like, it took them longer to get away whenever I was on extreme difficulty. It still happened, nonetheless, but I don't know. So this will move us into 37th. We're having a terrible race. I am not pitting at all during this race. Unless, of course, AI do, but I, I really don't expect that to happen because, what, it's, it's 50 laps. Every lap is 40 seconds. I mean, this race is about 30 minutes long, so I don't freaking know. We are on the throttle the entire freaking time. How am I ahead of BJ McLeod with 36? Like, how do, you, how do you get put a lap down before the race even started? I don't know. Oh, but this is a great spot to, to make up positions because they're just so weak there now. Still don't like it. See, now I'm moving up positions. But at one point, it said I was ahead of somebody, but I didn't have the spot on. That's that's scary. I mean, I've never seen it get it wrong at the line, but, you know. Yeah. You know, line of cars up on the top of the track, they just fly around you. But I can't, I can't go up to the outside. <laughs> I can never find a spot in there. Uh, there. There's always a car there. There's always a car there. My best bet is just sit here, lose positions, and then try to dive and gain it all back in turn three. Ugh, I'm cutting the grass. I cut a few hairs of grass. So, uh, I mean, that's that's maybe um, a split second or so that the person that mows the lawn, they, they don't have to worry about anymore. I mean, these laps are ticking away quickly. We're already on lap seven. We're already halfway through. 
the first stage. What I'm talking about, my best place to gain time, but there's cars in the way. Well, how can I actually gain the time on the cars when they're in the way? But the good thing is, because of the stage racing, they'll get grouped all back together, and then we'll have our opportunity to, to pass off a bunch of cars all over again in, in turn three. Oh my god, even though we're on better in difficulty, my car is still terrible. It's still the worst car in the field. Like, bar none. Bar none. <laughs> we're so much lacking in straightaway speed. Like, I can't hang on to these guys. And these guys behind me, they close right up to the gap. I and mean, I'm just blocking everyone. It's very strange. This is what I want to do every time. <clears throat> but I have to stay in the draft, so I stay behind them. And then I want to try to throw it down the corner. Well, then they're, they're side by side, and there's no room to do it. But we're 22nd. So that'd be pretty cool for the second stage to, to start like in the middle of the field. Uh, see, I don't know why the 34 car is going faster. Think about that. He has no one in front of him, yet he's just going faster. And he wasn't drafting off me. He was on the top. I don't know. Maybe eventually I will... Um... No, what are you doing? Why are you hitting me for? Maybe eventually I will be far enough away after taking turn three that I won't have to, to race these guys anymore. Right now, I need to pull into this top lane for once. Watch, I'll pull out, try to pass him. I should be able to do that because I got to run and there's no one in front of me. But uh, no, the aerodynamically pathetic cars that lack horsepower if the stage was long enough, I'd probably be able to get to 19th with these three cars in front of me. Heck, even one more lap might have done it. But, uh, yeah, the, the top 10 gets across the line. They pull up the results. So we can see how this race is going. Uh, those last, like, freaking eight laps or whatever were quite boring. Okay. Well, Kyle Busch stays up front after starting up there. Austin Dillon's having a great run. Hopefully, Brad Keselowski doesn't kill him. Now we'll go to the next stage. I almost forgot that this wasn't a qualifying results screen, to be honest. No, I'm not kidding. Now, don't you put me a lap down or some dumb nonsense. This is stage racing, okay? This this is not that uh that that stuff where it's just a regular caution. I know in the regular cautions, oh, you're before the line, so therefore you're lapped down now. I'm going to cut down low. Almost waited too long, and then McDowell would have gotten down there. So there are all these guys are right back in front of us again. We can make up positions. We were making up time really slowly. Oh my god, my car is so trash. Why y'all give me such a trash car? I know Bubba had a better car than this in reality. <laughs> he just wasn't using it. What the fuck are you doing? Stupid Christopher Bell. You, you got a mirror. I, I don't have one. You do. You don't need to be doing that shit. Okay. I think we could win this stage, to be honest. Considering I was just driving up towards the, the whole field, and then we're good in the draft now with everyone here. Why won't you get off of them? Why won't you get off of them? I'm letting off the gas. I don't even have to let off the gas, but somehow I'm, I'm stuck to the 20 bar. Okay, well, uh, here comes turn three. Oh boy. I just smashed the fucking hell out of the brakes, and... They are, they have a very unnecessary driving style. But, I mean, that's, I guess that's necessary in order to actually be competitive. Because you put on the other difficulties, you just sit there and wait for the race to end. A 50 lap race. I think I had enough of extremely long races that I wait for them to end because nothing's happening with Gran Turismo 4. Which, to be honest, y'all haven't really seen that much of that if you've been watching that series. I think most people that watch this channel only watch this. What the heck, man? What? I'm still 22nd. Okay. Let's throw it down. I held the brakes for a bit. If I can make every turn like that and just drive off the track and onto the apron every time and, and great, great momentum, then yeah, be fine. But I can't pull back up to the top where everything is, is fast, so I don't get all the arrow push that I need. Nonetheless, we're 16th, 17th, I have no idea. It's telling me I'm 16th whenever I, I'm i behind someone and I pass them, I'm still 16th. 
Come on. I'm on top. Give me all the good drafty draft. Yeah, there we go. I'm ready to throw it down. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm smashing the brakes so that I can pull up in front of him. I really not accomplished that much in that corner. I said I could win the stage. It is not looking like it. Okay, I'll pull up in front of Alex Bowman. I don't want any more cars around me whenever I'm trying to pass other cars. God damn, this car is so bad. It is tremendously bad. Like the fact that I'm having this kind of problem hanging onto the field. Whenever all I do is mash the throttle, stay in the draft. <laughs> what the heck is the deal? Okay, so we've got another 10 laps in the stage or something right now. Uh, I can't take advantage of my car because it won't steer like that. Mm, if I threw it in earlier, then maybe I'd be able to make the passes. But even then, that would upset the corner more because it's not appropriate to dive in from the middle. I need to dive in from the very top. So it takes forever because I'm running out of front grip. We're still hanging on, though. I'm off the throttle right now. Damn. We still had so much grip whenever we were ending the last stage, and then suddenly we're in this one, and I feel like I just can't steer at all. I mean, I guess it's just because I'm staying at the top of the track in order to stay in the draft, so I, it's taking so much more to throw the car down to the bottom. Just keep go. Go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. This is, this is good. I'm turning all the way. Still hitting the cars. Uh, stack each other up. Stack each other up. When we got a car in the middle here, he doesn't give a damn. It's not like NASCAR heat where you get next to them in the middle and they just check up, unfortunately. Oh, damn. Now they're starting to hit the brakes here. Not as much as three, never, but... Oh, what the fuck? What, what just happened? They all stopped. I was about to say that they usually stop way more in turn three, but that's the most they've stopped in a turn all race. There's Keselowski. Austin Dillon's behind me. That's not good, but to the lead we go. Hell yeah. Oh man, the front of my car is all bashed up. But uh, can I protect this lead for another seven laps? That is the question. Man, I'm conflicted. I'm quite conflicted. Like, if I put under the caution, I'm going to be a second faster than the field. I mean, look at my last lap. Most of my laps are slower than that. I mean, my fastest lap was in the in the pack, so if I pit under the uh, stage caution, then, yeah, I mean, we'll be a second faster and we'll drive straight through them. But if I don't know if they're going to pit at the end of the race, which I would need to do that, considering I already pit. But then I could just pit again, I guess. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah, let's go ahead and take a pit stop here. Fly through the entire field and hope that they pit again. And then we can pit again and still win the race. That, that's what I bank on happening. As long as they don't put us a lap down or some freaking nonsense while we do this, I guess. I'd ask them to repair the damage, but they're not going to do anything. There was not a bashed up hood and bashed up front bumper and all that. This McDonald's episode is sponsored by Pepsi. You know, I think they all do Coca-Cola products. Let me know if you found the rare McDonald's with, with Pepsi products. It's weird because like at one point I was... I went to a KFC and they weren't selling Pepsi products. Whenever our KFC in town has Pepsi products. 38th. Why are these guys behind me? What did they do? They're not a lap down. They're not. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what they did to deserve not getting to start ahead of me. I mean, unless because I was in first place, they put me on pit road, and everyone else was still way back there, and then not all the cars could pass me during my pit stop, despite how long pit stops are. I 
am not worried because they have really worn tires and I have fresh tires. We've got uh, 20 laps left in the race to drive around this whole field. My spotter is asking me to pit. Why? Why would you do that? What is your major malfunction? Oh yeah, there we go. Driving around on top. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Why is Keslowski back here? What the fuck happened? Oh my god. You see that? He was he was leading the race last stage. Now he's back here. What, was I not the only one that pitted or some stupid shit happened while I was leading? I don't freaking know. I, I didn't check the results of the stage to see if Keslowski was up there. I just saw, okay, I got my 10 points. Good stuff. I'm doing everything I can to get back into fourth place in the the standings and then well if I did that then I would also be getting into third because Larson is, is tied with true X I mean it's possible for me to to get past true X and not Larson depending on where they finish god damn the field just split up really badly that's okay though I've still got the fastest car out here just have to throw it all over the damn place to make way through traffic with these guys driving like that, I think it would make it easy. And so we're still like so much faster than everybody. That little by little, little inch, right up towards the lead. I mean, we're already in the 18th. So it took us forever to get into 22nd at the middle of like the first stage. Okay, so get around Ross Chastain into this corner. It's really strange that I was so much faster at the beginning of the race. I have fresh tires now, and I mean, I don't think they pit under the precautions because they never do that, so I don't know how they're going this fast, and I don't know how I was leading if this, if this is how fast they're going, when they didn't change their tires. But we're 15th, and I pulled away when I was leading, so I can close this gap to the leaders. Oh man, good God, the closing rate to these people that are running much better than they should be and I don't know what the heck happened did people actually pit oh my god man oh we're coming oh my god what just happened we're closing the gap so fast like oh James Davison is, is falling a lap down and he's 40th Okay, so we're in front of Truex. I know we've already gained like 10 points on him last stage, but he probably got stage points in the first stage that we didn't get, so I don't know. I just need to keep moving forward. I can pass all these guys in front of me in the remaining like six laps of the race. Now we've got their draftions be so hard to hang on. Okay, let's, you know, let's pull in behind Logano. Pull me! Pull me, Logano! Okay, send it in. The fact that I can make up so much time to a corner like this, it really confuses me how I actually lost the pack. I got fresh tires. And I know they didn't hit because we were at the back of the field. How the heck could they be all the way up there and then be this fast? They didn't get tires. So, like, I don't know how I was actually faster than everyone and pulling away with the lead when we were all on the same old tires. I get the new tires and then I could barely hold on to them. Well, here's Larson. There's Alex Bowman in front of Larson. Chase Elliott's all the way up there, and then um, I think Chase Elliott's battling with some guy for the lead right now. I'm sorry, Larson, you're in the way. You're stupid. Get out the way. It's Kyle Busch is leading. Okay. I can't even tell the color of the cars from this distance. But uh, this time by, we're going to have four laps to go. And... I, I don't think we'll be able to, to win the race. Unless they all start pitting, which... That'd be stupid as hell, but it wouldn't be a surprise. So I'd, I'd feel obligated to pit if everyone else is going to pit. Though I already did, but it doesn't make sense how we're in the scenario in the first place where I can't be faster than the field whenever I have like a, a second worth of time when it comes to the better tires. Well, these guys are coming up on Joey Gase. Uh... It's like Kyle Busch is going around, Chase is going around. Joey Gase is not the only one. I see another guy way up there. 
Oh, now Chase is trying to make a move. He is not succeeding. Oh, man, my tower is coming in now. I don't know how it's so hard for me to keep up. Whenever they never pit. I must remind you <laughs> that if they did pit, they would have been behind me at the freaking restart for the final stage. Still, third is a great finish. Great run. Uh, Kyle Larson is sixth, yet he is ahead of fourth and ninth. What the heck? What am I looking at on the leaderboard right now? How? Whoa! Whoa! What? Okay, he's fourth. I was going to say, I hope that maybe he could you know, lose some positions and gain some more points on him. I'm really hoping this is enough to get back into fourth and a, a pass Truex. I don't know. I'm... Ow. <laughs> he, he was a ways away. I had like 629. He had 661. And we got stage points. I don't know if he got any, so... We'll just see in a bit. Yeah, Kyle Busch is your winner. He finished two seconds back. Two seconds ahead of Kyle Larson. And Truex, he finished 13th. I kind of doubt that's enough. If I run this well in the next race, then, then maybe we'll make it happen. So here are the playoff projections. We're still fourth. Go figure. And then let's take a look at the bubble. Chris Buescher is in it six points over Daniel Suarez. Christopher Bell's not making it. Uh, Kurt Busch is not making it. Michael McDowell's not making it. Anyone else? Eric Amarola, he made it in reality, and he's not making it. I mean, he was running, you know, like this in the real 2021 season until he won New Hampshire, so I, I guess that makes sense. And here's the regular season championship. Somehow, I, I swear it says that Martin Trex Jr. only gained five points. And Kyle Larson only gained one point. And, and then me over here, they only gained like ten points. I ran the race. And I finished the race. Dude, what the heck did just happen to the standings? Something about this I find very confusing. I swear... I had like 629, and then these two had 661. They hardly gained anything. Um, William Byron practically has it locked up. Man, this is a fucking bullshit. I, I'm not stupid, man. I swear I saw that. No, 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 no. I'll see you guys like tomorrow for the Coke Zero Sugar 400 to end off the season before we get into the, the playoff rounds. See you next time. That's that, and episode over.